hello everyone welcome back to my channel in this video i am going to explain you how to add uh, this type of feature in your uh, form like uh, suppose we have to add the experience section uh, as we know we uh, we have to add the multiple rows so that uh, everybody has multiple experience maybe and uh, like uh, if you add something maybe your name ankit and your email and uh, you can also add a new position uh, you see the uh, the new box is opened and you can uh, still write the the different things and uh, you can again see you can again so in this video i'm going to explain you how to make these types of um, uh, add this type of uh, experience section in your form you can also add a delete button but i didn't delete uh, i did not add a delete button you can you can add i will tell you the logic behind that so let us move towards the code Uh, as you see the folder structure is very small so it it will be very easy and uh, here is uh, i am using only three folders index.js index.css and app.js in index.js uh, there is only one component which is the app component and uh, let us move to the app component and here is the let me show you side by side so now Uh, as you see the index dot js i set a body to background color is anti white uh, which uh, which is this background color and uh, here is a section which contain a heading 3 uh, here is a section tag which contain a heading heading 3 uh, which i set some css properties and inside the form and here is the div uh, you can see and uh, go through it like uh, like uh, for printing for printing the more, uh, more than one rows uh, i have to use this uh, i have to use uh, this map method such that uh, um, such that i can add uh, more rows and uh, and here is the use uh, use state you can you can see the here is i am using the array of an object which contains the name email and company uh, whenever we click on the handle handle new row like i add new position i add a function which call the handle new row when you click on this uh, button uh, it will call this function handle new row it will uh, Uh, it will add a new row such that uh, whenever we click on add new position it will add one more new section and it will print uh, it will print by using uh, this map method and uh, and if uh, and for storing all the values in their particular state uh, state um, i means at their particular index i have to use like uh, i use uh, uh, whenever we change any value uh, i set a handle check function in which i pass the index and e the which pointing to that element and here is the name Uh, which is our object so whenever we click on any of these uh, whenever we change the value uh, it will call the handle check function in in handle check function we have three items uh, i pass three items as a parameter index uh, e and selected like uh, uh, it will uh, it will it will uh, uh, we will get the values like uh, e dot target dot values as you know and uh, temp of uh, index first i co make a copy of uh, our previous uh, our state uh, in temp and uh, temp of index like uh, if you want to uh, change the value of 0th 0th i mean first row so the index will be 0 and uh, we will select that value like uh, data of 0 dot name then you can access the first property of the name and so here i update the value e dot target dot value and i set the value of uh, i set the value to that form so uh, if you see like uh, if i add something uh, in the name and email and in the company if i click on the add new position it will add one more row and uh, if i want to update in my uh, in my previous row you can also edit so this is because of uh, the index which we are passing that's why it will happen uh, and uh, if you submit the if you submit the form i also add a function let me show you uh, here is a button which i set uh, you can set type uh, submit and uh, uh, whenever we uh, we click on this button it will call this handle submit uh, uh, on on submit we will click on uh, we will uh, we will call the handle submit function in handle submit function we will first uh, prevent the default value otherwise our complete page will refresh and uh, and we reset the value to the first uh, only one rows uh, only one row which is uh, present in the initial initial phase so if you add something like uh, let me remove this and if you click on the submit button as you see and the all the rows are gone and the uh, and the value, uh, values are also going to vanish but in the console you can see uh, our data is uh, preserved here 
so this is the way to add uh, add these types of effect in your form like add new position you can add right uh, add the educations maybe whatever you want so i hope you enjoy the video and know how to handle this type of uh, effect in the form so thank you so much